So, welcome guys. Um, this is something slightly different to the stuff we normally do. But um, slightly. Just slightly. We're going to do a kind of podcast debate. Um, this is going to be... No, let's not call it a debate. I'm just debate. thinking of uh, school and <laughs> uni. It's a podcast. So I'm joined <laughs> with, with uh, Josh and Nathan. Uh, as you can see, we are playing Ruby. Um, Josh big fans. Is just big fans. Just playing it because we are, yeah, we are big fans. If this continues, it'll just be when we play games in our spare time, we'll just put some footage in. Yeah, well, I'll like do some cheeky little recordings here and there. But if you are listening to the audio version, listen, you're not missing out on anything. We're just yeah. playing it. It's just yeah. in the background. So, the way this is going to work, we're going to have a topic each. Um, we're going to talk about it a little bit. Could be something that we find annoying, could be something we find good. Just something we're interested in in the gaming slash entertainment kind of realm. Um, I'm going to kick things off with something that I found incredibly irritating this week. So as we all know, Destiny 2 has come out. All three of us very are good. very into that game. We are we are enjoying it a lot. Well, yeah, Me and Josh pretty into the first. Yeah, I didn't play the first much. Nathan played, how long was it? 35, 35 days. Well, let's not put yeah. time. 35 <laughs> days in I Destiny like 1. three maybe in Destiny Yeah, but that was over like... Was it two years? <laughs> two years. Like, I played it continually the whole time it was out. I'd just hop on there. But I'd also, like, just leave it on sometimes, and, you know. Yeah, so. you know, go for dinner, still on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So Because back in the day, they, the Xbox wouldn't turn off. <laughs> <laughs> so, the yeah, the first um, topic I was going to cover was DLC in games, and if it's become kind of an expensive necessity. Like a must. So in Destiny 1, well, you, had to, have you the DLC. had to have the DLC. There was no way to not play it. Yeah. Well, you and could, you just couldn't do anything. There was, it was pointless. So you bought the game for 40 quid, mm-hmm. and then they said, oh, we're also going to release it. Well, if you're it. a nubbins, you did. It's 32 <laughs> pounds over the games. Yeah, All right, I, well, I, if I you, bought it for 40. Yeah, oh. I bought it. <laughs> if, if you were Nathan and went for literally how how could I possibly get the cheapest no, game? No, Simply could. Games. I recommend Simply sponsor games. us, please. <laughs> Simply Games. I buy all my games from you. Game? <laughs> so, yeah. They just have such bargains. <laughs> like, Switch games are like That's where you get the cut. quid. No, no, no. Simply games send you disc. Oh, like okay. Switch games are like where well, they do simply CD keys is their other thing where they send codes. CD yeah. keys, that's the um, one you normally, you normally. But uh, yeah, like if, if like a game's been out for ages and somebody wants it cheap, I'm like, oi, go simply CD keys or something. Uh, <laughs> but like Switch games are just more expensive. They're like fifty pounds. Like the Zelda that came out with the Switch is still forty six pounds most places, right? Yeah. Looking simply games, right? Thirty two pound so, for the new so Pokemon game. If you're listening to simply games, Nathan is. Is up for big a big I love you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, so yeah, the, the game was forty quid for Destiny, and yeah. then you paid for each deal. I think how many DLC was there? Like two main. Well, there, there was two expansion two DLC, start. and they were thirty five pound each. I think someone worked out. No, it was thirty five pound for both. It was a season pass. You got them both. Mm. Yeah, but if you, that's the thing, you can get the season pass, or you could buy them individually. Yeah. Yeah, but nobody does that. I know, but that's the point. Is I if you were to buy the DLC Actually, as they came out and you bought the game, you were paying about one hundred and thirty quid for the game, which I think is pointless. They've done the same with Destiny Two that's just come out. They said they're going to release the DLC. So basically, if you buy the game, you then got to buy the DLC that comes out. Otherwise, mm. soon the game is pointless. Why have you well, got that it's, game? It's not pointless, but it, it's more... If you want to extend, if you want to play. extend the play and the story and stuff... Yeah, but I don't... To be honest, I don't understand why they can't just, like, give the game as a lump sum. This is the game. You pay for it. I don't, because I don't nobody wants... To, I don't want to have to pay £120 for a game up front. Yeah, but then some people might not realise that the game that they're buying into is... You're going to need to spend that much. Well, if you bought the special edition, you were given the season pass and stuff like that. Yeah, but that was, yeah, 100 and... What well, was it? The most expensive version of Destiny 2? No. You could have Like, with the newest one, you get a little Cade bubble head or something. Oh, really? That's pretty cool. Mm. But, to be fair, they are really cheap things. Like, this yeah, isn't... It doesn't cost a lot to This isn't make, all DLC, it? to be honest. I mean, oh, no, are... most DLC. Borderlands like... is good for their DLC. So, I've got... I, I went on Games Radar and Ranker to rank the best DLC. One thing I was saying, um, Is it best, best, DLC. best by cheap or there. best as Best by just in general. Most playtime yeah, for the cost. Yeah, and obviously one of the first ones. Well, then was Destiny was the most playtime for the cost. It's I played true. that game. Like, that and Borderlands, Dark Souls, Diablo. Destiny was good. I think Destiny 2 is going to do better. Elder Scrolls. Elder Scrolls was good. Season pass. I'm going to throw no. in there. Far Cry Season 3, pass, Blood DLCs. Dragon. Probably one of the most successful. Well, DLCs. that's because it was basically an entire different game. Yeah, but that was. A... It was. That, yeah, that's they, like, that's the thing, they revamped the game. You said ODST is a DLC. Yeah, ODST that's came a up. That's a whole good game. It came like, up as a DLC. Firefight in ODST 
I had so much for playing. I actually that. probably enjoyed really ODST a little bit more than three. I loved ODST. You ODST said Halo Three was like Halo my, was top game, my top. It was game. it was a fantastic game, but ODST I really enjoyed. ODST had a really good campaign. It was a bit more difficult. The introduction of Firefight on ODST was fantastic. It just worked so well. So yeah. there, are, there are others. Red Dead Redemption, Undead Nightmare. That oh, was awesome. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. was a very Top good quality. DLC. And yeah. then it added in like loads of multi. That's the best thing. If a DLC adds in some good single player stuff and some good multiplayer stuff, like Gears of War DLCs, when you get one of them, mm. like Gears of War 3, it gave you like a whole new campaign bit, load more characters, load more weapons, and then it was like, here you go, here's loads of maps there's loads of new game modes and like every DLC was just they gave you a just lot for your money yeah. yeah so right so and every aspect some more uh, I've got some Mass Effect 3 The Citadel uh, Borderlands 2 Tiny Tina's Assault oh, on was alongside yeah. Mass Effect yeah. they gave out free content like once a month as well oh so that like, was so as well as so that's quite so good that, yeah they were give, like The Witcher did a season pass very good for its price massive but they also released 14 free little DLCs of like costumes, weapons, See, I like armors. I like games offering more, but I feel like nowadays, if you buy a game... And new missions as well. If, if you buy a game, that's not... Yeah, you're, you're, you're going to be spending game, more into yeah. it. You're going to be spending more into it, or you're not going to get the full you've, game. You've, you've, you've got Unless, to be very committed to And the I do game feel like or... some games leave out some content just to make more money from you, from DLC. And oh DLC. yeah, that doubt. But if you buy pre-alpha games like Ark, well Ark sort of gave you some free DLC, then they made you pay... Um, but Fortnite has given everybody the Battle Royale DLC for free. Yeah. Also, the Bioshock DLC was very popular, 2 and Infinite. So for 2, oh, it was, was Minerva's cool. Den, as, uh... and for Infinite, Burial at Sea was very yeah, popular DLC. Yeah, you played DLC. as the, the woman in that, and she had, like, crossbow and stuff. <laughs> oh, really? Going on to some of the more expensive DLCs, which were uh, pretty pointless. Fighting so again, games are expensive DLCs. Like yeah. Like Mortal Kombat. So no. The, like, a lot of Steam cool. games as well. A lot of there's just some the Steam games are usually DLCs. cheap, aren't they? So yeah, the games are cheap and they just make you money from you buying stuff. Like games that offer DLC when they're free, like Neverwinter or Warframe is a fantastic game, and you just you can buy some microtransactions and I think there's DLC or something. Yeah, but the game's free. free. Yeah, yeah. So, so I, I understand I'm willing that. to pay if the game's free. However, I don't know. so Gears of War three, there were thirty pound weapon skins. Now weapon skins. They're pretty pointless. I mean, they look good. Yeah, but, but the thing is, why you would you spend thirty quid on a weapon? Have Can't you seen? Have you seen one. the CS:GO uh, skins? Just for a fucking one of the I think it's like the combat knife, whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah, goes for bloody like a mint. Like, yeah, stupid money. Just for a weapon skin. I know some people is want it to buy this and like the games, but I do think it's a little bit overpriced. Polo. <laughs> but yeah, but I think Polo. Modern Warfare was a very was a very in the day. So. Obviously, this is I a while, ever a while brought, back. No, wait, I did buy COD DLC. We're zombies at, maps. Yeah, you're looking yeah. at map packs. That so, was the worst thing. You, you just wanted the zombies, and they were like, here, take all these multiplayer maps. Fuck so, you. Modern, <laughs> War, just Modern Warfare zombies. 1 caused the most stir. Uh, they got. So, it was, the, just one Warfare, of the, it was yeah. a three three map pack, mm. and it was £15. That back then, everyone was. What, uh, one map? Nap, see, no, it was for three maps. So, oh, for okay. nowadays, that's actually not that bad. But for back then, it was like, uh, why are you giving us. I don't know, three I, feel maps, like I, 15 I, I still quid. feel like even now, they're still a fucking lot for three maps. Yeah. And they weren't even. Well, they were They were good. I, I still think the best maps were the ones that came standard in the game. Um, I played a lot of Modern Warfare. But that's from sometimes DLCs as well. It's not as good as the content you're given in the main game. Yeah. Like, because they've just rushed it out. Yeah. The worst thing is when they already have DLCs ready to release when the game's just come out. Like, they're like. You can buy this DLC now, but I just bought yeah. the full game. I shouldn't. I should be like. Mortal Kombat oh, was yeah. uh, so sixty pound. So when the game came out, sixty quid. Mortal Kombat X. Mm. Um, well, yeah, if you're a sucker. Yeah. Well, all right. If you didn't go to Simply Games, then... or just anywhere, <laughs> sixty pound must have been. That a was just edition. the bog standard when it came out. Really? Um, I, yeah. Something like that. Oh, yeah. I never paid sixty pound. Oh no, sorry. No, no, no. It's not pound dollars. Sorry. I've just, oh, we do it in dollars. I got this from a US website. So dollars. So it yeah, so about, about forty pound. Forty pound. Mm, yeah. And then you got and then price, it wasn't anymore. straight away <laughs> they offered you the combat pack, which was another thirty dollars, half of the game on top of that, just to give you some moves. Was, I'm assuming what was the no, combat it was, pack? Uh, the combat pack was four more characters. Ooh, yeah, so wow. just four characters and then they, half the game. Yeah, but in a fighting game with like a character, a roster of twenty characters, adding in new fighters is good. And Mortal Kombat do it well. Like they added in the alien and the predator. Well, the first deal they had the predator. And then it had Jason Voorhees. I know, but I, I've got... I, I I, but the worst thing about that was, uh, like, a few 
like after a bit later, they released a second DLC, and if you brought the Mortal Kombat XL edition, it just gave you both for the same price as the actual. Game. I mean, if we're going for fighting games right now, so the, the newer one uh, was it? Uh, fucking what's it called? Greatest Storm Four. Yeah, the newest one. That's not the. Well, I say newest one. It's a few years old now. So they got new characters and stuff, but they added story onto it. So, for instance, you have one for Gara. They give you the uh, the hidden sound ninja, but you also play a Gara story. Which oh, I think so is a good way of doing stuff, it. Yeah. yeah, and the same with uh, like uh, Road to Bottle Dog. I thought they would have given you like where you played as like the kid, well, when you played as Naruto and all of that, when they had to fight the sound people. That would have been a better DLC. Yeah. Like, to introduce the sound ninjas rather than just a random Gara one. Yeah, true, but I think that's a better way of doing yeah, it. It's you nice get, to get more characters well, and yeah. you do a new, new story. And they've done yeah, it three times. That's just when a game company's good, they, get, they offer you a lot. Yeah. Like, I want a lot. Like, it's the same with uh, Dark Souls. They had a big chunk of story, loads of new weapons, loads of new bosses and stuff, which gives you loads of time. And then they also added in, like, the arena. Oh, like, yeah. The, yeah. Mode the thing like is, that. though, with... So, going back to Destiny... Um, Both Bandai I, and I, Anko, I well. like DLC where, if you, don't have to, if you don't buy it, you can't afford it, you're not missing out. Yeah. However, I do think a lot of games... Yeah, but then it's nowadays, pay to win. Destiny's set the trend. Um, and Destiny hasn't set that trend. Well, it, I mean, ages. it has been there for ages, but I do think... But in games that are MMOs, that's what happens. Well, which is Destiny <clears throat> getting an MMO? Yeah, it's it classed is. as an MMO. Class, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's not because of all the fucking loading screens. It is, but really. we'll go with it. <laughs> I suppose it is. It's simply for the fact that you can meet people in the free mode, is why they call it. But anyway. I'm just going to ask you, yeah, ask you a general question. Are DLC, or is DLC always optional? Uh, obviously, with Destiny, I would technically no. say it isn't. I um, mean, if a game's good, I'm more games. than happy for them to release more and give me a DLC. Um... Nathan brought to my attention just before we started. Dead oh, or this Alive. This one's ridiculous. I this love, is uh, the yeah. Dead or Alive fighting games are great, even though they released that volleyball game and everybody thinks of it as tits. Yeah. The actual like <laughs> is. Ninja Gaiden is like one of the coolest like original Dark Soulsy games out there. So hard, plays fantastically, and you can yeah. play as him and a load of other ninjas from that <laughs> in Dead or Alive. And there's just a bunch of cool characters in the old school ones when it was less boobies. Now it's more boobies because those costume passes are sixty-one pound, right? For one costume pass, sixty-one pound. But you get to see more game. flesh for and them boobies. That's like, more than buying Destiny for me. Yeah, it's like, more than buying any game. I mean, they give you a load. Like it's like I don't here care. you go, have all of these costumes. I don't want. More it costumes, depends on right? how much you play the game. Are you going to play Dead or Alive as again? No. After uh, the the things I will buy for Dead or Alive is they made three more characters and they were quite cheap. Like, it was like £3 for a character or something. And mm. that's not bad. I'll pay £3 for yeah, a Yeah, but some of them aren't bad. But the, oh, why would you... I mean, I suppose if you really like the game, you're really rich. Um, and to yeah. be honest, Dead or Alive, it's, it's, it's not that bad because... If but you fighting do... games are a game where you just keep doing the same thing over and over. But it's fun. It's just it's very expensive. Yeah. But I suppose you're not missing out on too much if you don't get them. Yeah. It's just, it's it's just, just, just an option lecture which they can make money from because they sell them individually for cheaper. So if you mm. have a favourite character... I think him or her the one look like. the one that annoyed me the most out of every fucking d- paid DLC or whatever you want to call it is Minecraft. Yeah. So in the PC game, all your texture packs, all the shit are free. You just download it from some guy who made it because some people are good at doing. Just the PC or just the Xbox? No, oh, I'm just, yeah, I'm just doing the PC. You just use like one, which just <laughs> looks really and nice. It, things more hexagonal. It, it comes. Square. It comes to Xbox. You're like, oh okay, it's, we'll have just crappy. Well, just Steve, basically, yeah. And then yeah. Go, oh, yeah, you can now buy texture packs and, and other <laughs> crap. It's like, but we didn't have to do it on the PC. Why the fuck should we expect to do it now? Yeah, no, I agree. Um, or it's like, because they do like a, a sort of a Hunger Games thing as well, and you've got to pay for those pa- uh, pa- map packs as well. And it's like, fuck off, honestly. Fuck off. What? One other Sort one. your shit out, Mojang. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, <laughs> Mojang. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> so, <laughs> Josh, never realised you are so passionate about Minecraft. I'm not, but it's, it's, it's annoying. Secret, secretly, Mojang, Josh would love. To be no, they can go fuck themselves. <laughs> oh. No, wait, no, um, just in case they do ever. I love you, Mojang. <laughs> so, another game which um, I was looking into, which is one we all love, or I certainly do, is Rainbow Six Siege. Some of the DLC and some of the amount of DLC they've got on there are ridiculous. You, So they've, how many season passes have they been now? Is it there's, two, there's two year two. passes? Well, it's in year two now. But from the first year, how much was it for the first year pass? I don't know, but they've made the first year pass cheaper now that the second year is out. Which exactly, is nice. but when you bought it, it was yeah. But what like we all did was we all just brought one individual character, didn't we? And then it we just did. made it gave us more time. You played as a new one; it was good fun. But yeah. the amount of DLC on there, there's some of the weapons just for like a new skin. I think it's just a remodeling of a skin of just one 
Um, that's where they get you, doesn't it? Accessories yeah. and accessories rubbish like that. Like crap. Destiny now has pay for shaders and accessories. Oh, the and fucking stuff. Uh, silver. Yeah, bright yeah. grounds and silver. They just want you to. The thing is, is you don't need them because you literally yeah. get them when you and, level up. Yeah, you get them enough. I don't think I don't think you need it. It's just another feature where they can get money if people want to support the game more. Yeah, but I, some of them I really like. There was one they. Um, yeah, so somebody they... did have a like really cool green shader yesterday, and I was like, oh, what's that? Oh, I haven't got that one yet. No, I was a bit jealous. But I really like <laughs> <laughs> when. <laughs> but then he, then he shit. the person who <laughs> sells shaders like could come back because they talk about her in one of the scannable things, and uh, she could just sell like one legendary shader a week with a bunch of green ones or something. Yeah, that, that would be bad. That wouldn't be bad. Um, in, yeah, she do it for like glimmer or something. That'd yeah, be yeah. cool. Like there's, there's like rumours of that and stuff, which I, I think that'd be tasty. I, I, I think the thing is, they they think that having a game which isn't finished, which is technically going to be my, my solution a little while, is, is okay as long as they finish the fucker with loads of paid DLCs so to get even, they drain our fucking resources basically. Yeah, Ark was the worst for that. It was, like, it was a really cool it. game and they did develop it, but not in the ways we wanted. I mean, Destiny it. And then won like, that as well though. The game's not out yet, but here's a DLC. You should be See, working on fixing and making the game Yeah. Down. Not trying to charge us. Oh, so the, uh, the the year two pass is forty dollars. So that comes with eight operators from year two. It's back to Rainbow Six Siege. Yeah. Um, eight headgear, eight uniforms, one a carbon charm. So little charms you get on the gun. Yeah. They've got some of those up for like three pound, but I don't. I can't even close three pounds to and notice it. To be honest. <laughs> yeah, I mean you see it on your gun. It's like you individually also. Yeah. I, I I just think you just it shouldn't be the norm for every every game should have DLC now. I hate it. I, I yeah. kind of want to just buy a game. And yeah, that I know, but it. some games are big enough without it. It's just if you do want more. Like but Dark Souls is big enough without it. To be honest, Diablo's big enough without okay, it. Okay, let's, let's take Skyrim for an instance. So oh, yeah, that's two, big enough without it. Two, two, of, the, two of the three DLCs were awesome. You had the uh, Dawn Guards and the um, uh, Dragonborn. Yeah. And then you have fucking Half Fire Base. Oh, you get, to make a ba- you get to make a house. So, yeah, but it's kind of cool. I like doing a house. No, I get that, <laughs> but it's like. You'd literally just give but us was that, which cheaper. could have been in the game from the very fucking beginning. You're giving us that, and we've got to pay you, I think it was like 10, 10 pounds, so about, what, $20 or whatever it is then. And it's like, why, why should we have to cope, have to, not cope, sorry, have to um, deal, with that. deal with that sort of shit every time a new game comes out? It's 100% true. Um... So that's, I mean, we're getting off the time, so we're going to move from that to our... <laughs> that, that's that, how you want that, to finish that, that one. We could talk about that probably for an hour. I, but, I could, yeah. But Well, my opinion is, if I enjoy the game, I'm more than happy to buy DLC. I just, I kind of wish that, rather than, because I do think some games Like, I did now think are, by the end of Destiny, I was a bit of a sucker, but luckily, like, there I, are I, ways to get around it, and you can half Yeah, well, that's the thing, I think with Destiny, they could have, and stuff like that. could have released a lot more. For the amount you're paying, I mean, you pay a lot more than you used yeah, to. Yeah, but I you do. For... You get maps, you get a rage, you get new guns, you get a new like set of missions and a new planet. I mean, what else do you want? Yeah, but it's more it planets, should be like more raids, more should... guns. Yeah, I want two raids, two planets. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, they're just making it as they go. Like, yeah. I mean, but it should be finished. <laughs> yeah, it should be a finished game. I, yeah, that's it my, is finished. My it's personal opinion now. is it should be just a finished game. It's the just DLC is just game. to tide you over until the next game, isn't it? They just expand on it. No, I don't think it is anymore. Because it, we don't want to finish the game. We want to ch- make the game finish. I mean, I haven't played a game yet, which, like, hasn't been fit. Like, hasn't the story's been nicely wrapped up, and then DLC just adds to the story. Diablo, Diablo, not Diablo. Sorry, Dark Souls done well. They. We do the, the 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 final boss, and then they add two more DLCs, two more bosses, Little side thing, and they add to the story, but it's only if you delve into it. Yeah, so it's like more lore, background yeah. lore. That's fine. I'm, I'm okay with that because you, you do get pretty some pretty cool weapons. There's two new places to go to, and it's honestly it wasn't that expensive. Oh but yeah, and the dragon I think, was so cool in the newest stuff. So yeah, I love, love me a good dragon fight. Okay, so can I go from there? Should, should because... we? Okay, okay. First, <laughs> let's let's vote. I, Do we think pay deals DLC should be the norm or not? I, should I, be the norm. I think it's becoming very expensive and it's becoming, I don't know, it's just, it's more necessary to mm. have to have the DLC now. But if you want a game to last, you have to bring out DLC, otherwise after a couple of months people are going to get Yeah, but that never used it. to be true. Like I was starting to, yeah, but I mean, we're older now. We get bored of things quicker. <laughs> like I saw my little cousin still playing Angry Birds, like, the fuck's Angry Birds? I'm joking. <laughs> 
the day Angry Birds. So old. <laughs> and then Cut the rope. <laughs> Just how, much, like how much is Angry Birds DLC? Is that like... Oh, God. Do you reckon Angry Birds have DLC? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> oh, fucking bet it does. Yeah, yeah catapult is that Well, actually, so you're saying that. Even, like, mobile games do DLC. It's like, oh, you, yeah. can, you can get this fucking potion and it gives you an extra yeah, 10 moves. Yeah, but there, there like, are mobile games off. like Infinity Blade where I played that. Like, that thing's an incredible game and it's, like... There, there is some some, some, make me some deals, there yeah. are some good mobile games that I play which are just are basically RPGs and uh, which you you know with the old touch screen and stuff and the only sort of pay to win sort of this pay to win but you don't have to do it because it's not online or anything so it's nothing's bad yeah so I just want to enforce this is obviously our opinion um, if you do have any I'll say opinion of your own opinions feel free to yeah join on into Facebook, the, yeah, Facebook join Twitter you can, we are, our comment pages are below. Yeah, it is. So yeah, just go and have a look. Comment if you, there's any DLC that you think has been way too expensive or just, or or just a waste you think of fucking well, time. Well worth it. Yeah, yeah. no opposite. If you're jo- well jo- worth join it. In, certainly, in the conversation. Certainly, Blood Dragon. I really enjoyed. So, um, and mate, if if Halo ODST was classed as DLC, that was one of the best DLCs. Oh yeah. Like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we're going to move on. Uh, I'm going to go with Nathan's topic. So Nathan, what did you? Well. Do you want me to take over First with your game? First off, I've got... No, I'm, I'm playing. All right, I'm he's, playing he's, again. he's enjoying um, Race Ruby. I don't, I don't want to quit. <laughs> so, remasters of games. Sort of going on to DLCs, like how recently Elder Scrolls got remastered onto Xbox and they give you mods and stuff. Yeah. However, like, is this just the game company? Oh, we'll just re-release it, touch it up a little bit. Bang, oh, are, we, are, we, are we saying Skyrim, if anything? Because they've done it so many that, fucking that times That is the now. go-to at the moment. Or, like... A game coming out soon is Dragon's Dogma, and they're re-releasing it. You get all the DLC, but you're only playing two thirds of the price of a normal game. Oh really? Yeah. I'll like, be honest. The, the one, the most like that. The most it's... annoying remaster, I think, is with uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. They were like, buy the game which no one's going to play, and then we'll re- you get the oh, remastered yeah. the one that everyone will play. Remastered. So just give us the fucking game that's been remastered in that case. However, I do get annoyed that they can make so much money from a game they've already made. They just yeah, that's it. the thing. Are they just being lazy and just trying to get some Well, yeah, but we're the game? suckers that buy it. Yeah. I will buy a game. Oh, Skyrim VR. Probably loads of people are going to buy it. Loads of people are going to get well, it. It's on every platform now, I think. I think besides the DS, maybe, and the PSP, yeah. or PSP, or whatever the fuck it is now. Because it's on Xbox, P- uh, PlayStation, PC, and bloody, um, was it Wii U? No, Switch. It's on the Switch now, oh. and all this bollocks. It's like, oh, he's put oh. him down. Difficulty <laughs> <laughs> normal. You've got to stay on Eclipse, Kieran. <laughs> all right, I'll go hard. No. What? Eclipse. <laughs> now. Kieran, no. <laughs> go and put it on Eclipse now. <laughs> that's how, if you die fast, that's how you die. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Five. Now we can. <laughs> now Kieran <laughs> can stop being a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. No, but so like, Xbox did the backwards compatibility, right? And playing some of them old games again was fantastic. And some of them I didn't think needed remastering. I thought, you know what? That's still really fun to play. Like I played Dead Space, the first one again. Mm. Oh my god, forgot how good that is. But things that I did play was Rare Replay. Did you guys ever see that? No, I didn't. Know. It was like loads of old Rare games, for like Nintendo sixty four, oh, stuff yeah. like that. I can't believe how funny Conker was playing that again. And like some stuff like that. And it was like, it was £20 for like 20 games. So I'm happy to pay £1 for one game for each. One, yeah, one yeah. game each of like some really good classics. And it was just good. There was no other games coming out around the time. So it was a, it was a good time feeler. The problem I have is that I find, I, I don't have enough time to play all the games that are coming out as it is. So yeah, remaster yeah, game alone to go back and play yeah. another one. So remaster before. games just feel I feel like I'm wasting my time because I've already played uh, this game. I could be playing games that I have never played. And before. most games, just the newer one is better. Like you can play Dark Souls. Like when you this what I did like, you buy Dark Souls three will give you Dark Souls one backwards compatibility yeah. to play again. That's really cool. Also, have you yeah, ever, I got that. have you ever had a game in mind where you thought, oh, that was a brilliant game, and you've gone back to it and actually thought, actually, oh yeah, it's not that like, great. That's not what I remember. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I played Fable two recently because I loved that franchise. It was quite bad when when I played it. Again. Yeah, like some Still games good, don't like... age well enough to need a remaster. Like playing Halo one again, where you could switch between graphics, it was really cool. But I wish they'd have updated the controls because you felt so sluggish and just yeah. Stuff like that. It was great to play again, and I don't think it was the price of a full game. Like it was, it was like cheaper. Like I think remasters should never be the price of a new game. It's no, I mean, 
Unless, like, I think the Dark Souls Scholars of the First Sin, which was Dark Souls 2 remastered, they gave you all the DLC, and the DLC were pretty good. Yeah. Good size, and that was really good to play. I'm trying to think of other remastered games. You've also got... Um, Dragon's Dogma is the one coming Dragon's out, Dogma. I just can't Modern wait. They gave me all the DLC for that, and that was so good. I'm sure there's a few others that are... Um... There's loads of remasters out. They are. Just... I mean, who set the trend? It was... Uh, I'd say Assassin's Creed because they oh yeah they done they done like Etsy collection stuff in there as well yeah, yeah. yeah. they released so I think many that's rare as well rare I got them all early. there was they released Etsy collection after that and um, I was it the all. price of just it was about fifty quid it was so did you pay about oh so you paid a bit more than a normal game but you were a bit more than a normal like game but you got all games. of them yeah but you you could have but the I'll thing be is honest like, but that's four old games you're not buying a new and I'm gonna be honest the difference wasn't amazing like it wasn't. Like with Halo, when they yeah, yeah, see a remaster that plays really nice. Halo again. remastered, where they did the reskin of Halo One, that yeah. looked really nice. It was a big, big difference. With but the, it still played like rubbish. It's I want still a remaster that updates. Well, they, they, the they said hmm. they said they kept it the way they played it, the way it normally played, because they wanted people to relive that. Yeah, they wanted everyone to not lose the nostalgia, which I, yeah. would, I would have cared. I feel like you'd I lose it anyway. I would like to do two, like play it normally, switch between graphics, or play it. How Halo Five plays Switch between graphics. Yeah, that would have been good. That'd have been really cool. But then it's more time on their hands, and they will assume because in the end of the day, it's just it, a cheap. It, thing it all it all comes out. down to them that they're making money, isn't it? So why would yeah. they want to do all this effort and make technically less money than they all they got to do is just yeah, just chuck add a few textures. They've already got the code in and all this stuff done. Yeah, it is. Uh, I would. I. It gets really annoying. I just. I would like to. I'd prefer them to work on a game that... Like a new, a one new rather game, than rather than just yeah. focusing all their efforts on a game that we've Oh, one played. big one was Borderlands 2 and Borderlands Pre-Sequel, with every bit of DLC for 30 quid. Like, I think, for Borderlands 2, and all the DLC, probably cost about £60, maybe. Yeah. And then Borderlands the Pre-Sequel with all its DLC, and, like, they added all the characters in and stuff, and then you only paid £30 for probably 100 and something pounds worth of DLC and just yeah. game. That was pretty cool. And think... they made it four player split screen, which was really cool. I haven't seen that in ages. Two player split screen. Do you think, because obviously the biggest um, head spin for this topic is Skyrim VR, which got announced, uh, was it this year's E3? I, I uh, feel like they should just let Skyrim die at this point. Like, that's I, because I, I like Scrolls the Online remastered. was rubbish and nobody's talked about Fallout 4. Like Very Skyrim. true. Fallout 4 died. I don't know why though, because Fallout 4 I really enjoyed. I just one day I, I woke it, up and I thought, I'm not going to play it. The thing is, using I, guns is just I not, like, played it's really good Fallout still. 4 a lot when it first came out, and then at that point I was like, I can't bother. I just woke up and then thought, I'm, I'm not going to play it. Yeah, you get I to don't know stage. why. No idea why. The thing I is, really I, I, I then, a uh, the few months ago, I played it like religiously for a little while because I was like, do you know what, I've got an urge to just play a game where you sort of in a post apocalyptic thing and sort of this bollocks. Did you watch Mad Max recently? <laughs> no, I, I never actually liked the movie on Was it the. Mad Max version of Rick and Morty that got you into No, it was <laughs> <before> <laughs> then, <before laughs> then. But love and Rick and Morty. Um, but yeah, they just they need to let Skyrim die because it, they, they can't leech off anyone else, I'm sure. Yeah. To be honest, it's not going to matter because VR is, I think, the, I think the future. I think everyone's going to get VR at some point. Had, and I people don't... are going to buy Skyrim again. And then they're gonna, probably going to release it. Oh, yeah, I was thinking about buying Skyrim again because they're putting it on the Switch. And then when they're... That's like Skyrim on the go. <laughs> don't do it. What's but it's point? like 60 quid. Skyrim multiplayer, I'm calling it. It's going to be re redone. There's a mod of doing that. But I yeah. know, but they'll make it. Because I th actually, I think that's the one thing Skyrim did miss was... Uh... Fallout was missing it more. There were yeah. so many things about Fallout. Fallout would have been awesome with uh, just, multiplayer. Because gunplay just gets a bit more boring because so much stuff has it. Skyrim yeah. had that more unique system and... Skyrim would have been even better with co-op, and I think any open world game needs co-op. It's very true. Mm. I, did, I did miss not playing with others. Like, Maybe mainly because I suck. I but... started playing Bloodborne, and on the PlayStation, because it's just like a family one in the other room, like we don't have the online for it, and so it does make it boring, yeah, just not playing yeah. co-op with people like you would in Dark Souls. Well, it's like you're saying for, wait, you said Bloodborne, didn't you? Yeah. Sorry, yeah, yeah, sorry, but yeah. You, like how I play Dark Souls on the Xbox. All you guys have got it, and it's a good laugh. Yeah, yeah, we on, will always have a good crack. On the flip side, though, any games that you guys would like to see remastered? Modern Warfare 2? Dragon's Dogma. <laughs> well, funny enough, Dragon's Dogma was the one that I was like, oh, I really would love to play that game again. Yeah. I got it out the other day, like, from my room, and it was just, like, 
I don't know whether it had like watermarks go over it or something, but I couldn't use the disc anymore. And I was heartbroken. Uh, if, if I'm being, if I'm being honest, a game I'd like to be remastered. Well, actually, no, there is one game that I played when I was very young. What's that? Uh, it was a Abe's Odyssey. Oh, Stranger's Wrath remastered. That's what I want. They did it on the PlayStation. Didn't put it onto Xbox. Oh, wow. I was very upset. So I, I got it on the PC, the, uh, is it Oddworld? I think it was. Because that was the one I played at the, when I was really young. Yeah. And that, I was so happy they'd done that. Because just that, that, like, the, the Wasn't nostalgia it was there. nice and tasty edition as well. Yeah, so yeah, it was awesome. They have remastered them all. Uh, I would really like, and this is probably just me, but Rainbow Six Vegas the games. I really yeah, like Vegas right. 1 yeah. and 2. Well, I don't know whether it needs a remaster. If you go on it now, it doesn't actually look all that bad. It's a pretty good game. I just, I just, I wish um, they brought it back, made a revamp to it, because I, it would be such a good game to play, especially in a group. I really enjoy playing like Terrorist Hunts yeah. and stuff. Yeah. And I think Siege is good, but the, there's not, I think they could do more do with like the cover and system. Stuff. And, yeah. Um, like customizable weapons and characters was a good laugh. You could even put your face on a character with the. Like, <laughs> I love that. That was amazing because yeah. it never looked like you, but it was always funny. <laughs> <laughs> you just see yourself yeah. in cover on the wall, and you could pull poses, and it would just be like you could look, a funny face. <laughs> look really <laughs> shocked, and then up. always look running around like oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant! Oh, right. Okay, so moving on from that, let's uh, move on to the final topic, Josh. What have you got I, I feel like all of ours are actually quite all similar, together, samey, really. samey right now. Because my, mine is actually releasing games as pre-alphas. Okay. Because it's, like it's like you, you're literally art. like, we can't finish this game because we're shit. We're going to release it in pre-alpha so everyone or buys it. they release it and then don't know what to do with it. They're like, yeah. it's not finished but we don't know what to do. Do you want it? Have they ever given up <laughs> yeah. a game before? I don't know what. I'm trying to think of a game. There are quite so a few games. Ark Survival just abandoned. was, um, well not one has been abandoned, but Ark Survival is like a major one that they've done it with. Minecraft was a fucking original one. It's very true. It's because of Minecraft. them. I'm annoyed with Minecraft basically. Yeah. This is my entire thing. This is going to be called <laughs> Mojang the yeah. Vendetta. <laughs> it, no, it's, it, war on it, Mojang. It is true though because... The, the, they, the, cause they had it in like alpha where it's literally based in creative mode and then they started doing all over shit but they released it all in pre-fucking alpha and it was all wank and then now they're still milking it and shit and it oh, just literally just... you can do so much more with cows now <laughs> yeah <laughs> can you actually I don't know <laughs> but yeah it's basically my, my whole thing is the fact that you shouldn't do a pre, pre-alpha or pre-release or any sort of thing until it's actually working because in that case you're you're technically paying us you're, you're technically get, taking our money for us to basically be the debuggers, finding the bugs yeah. so you can fix it. It's, it's like, like we're not we getting paid to, do to hire yeah. a, a games tester. Yeah, it's basically what it is, and that's what annoys me most. It is funny finding a bug in a game, though. I do love a good bug. <laughs> like, you play a game and just walk through the map. You're like, well. Yeah, but it's just like, we, we shouldn't. Oh, that completely put me off that. Assassin's Creed Syndicate. I was in the tutorial and I climbed over a barrel and fell through the map, and I was like, <laughs> I wasn't having a good time anyway. I just turned it off because it didn't save anything. <laughs> No, I sold it. I just didn't want to play it anymore. Josh, on the back of what you said, I've got up a list of games that never made it um, yep. to be released, okay. and games that are were in alpha or were before kind of released before they were finished. List, man. But before all that, Nathan has a uh, scale bound. Just they cut it dead, and it looked like it had loads of stuff that were really cool. But I think they would made it all really cool concepts and stuff, and then were like, we don't actually know what to do with the game. Oh, like, I reckon they were Sorry. like, okay, this looks really cool, really cool features, but mm. what's the story? Where are we taking it? What do we do? So <laughs> was that, that was released, Scatman, or was it just... No, no it, so it just sort released. of stopped. Scatman, okay, so action role-playing video game was being developed by... Platinum <laughs> Games, they make some good ones. Yeah, yeah, was cancelled. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just randomly. Just so when was world. that going to be released? That was, in... that was like coming up this year, I think. But oh, I was just really looking forward to it. Mm. Like you have your own dragon. Did they release any you, demos? Then yeah, there was loads of footage they were showing. There was no demos, but they released yeah. such a content and they were really bigging it up and it just looked cool. You were like a guy with your hopes high. Like full, like combat, sort of like this, but more finalized. Yeah. And you had your own dragon, and not only did you ride the dragon, you could fight on the dragon, sky battles and stuff. There when was you a game landed, like that on the PlayStation he would run too. around and like kill shit for you and just do stuff. Yeah, there was, yeah, a there was on one PlayStation like on 2. PlayStation 3 as well. Uh, Rain, no, not Rain, Rain of Fire was a film. Anyway, there was a dragon like game like it where you could sort of fly a dragon and stuff, but it just the combat wasn't nice. So one of the ones that I was looking at, so similar to what you were saying, uh, Rainbow Six Patriots. It was a game that was really... What was, was Rainbow Six Patriots? It was announced after 
obviously Vegas one, Vegas two. That was kind of like the next level before Siege, but it was it wasn't Siege. It was going to be like a kind of a narrative. It was going to be like a proper campaign, a bit well, like the campaign Vegas. Was fun in Vegas. Yeah, so it was kind of going to be very similar to Vegas one and Vegas two, but it was going to be kind of just redone. Um, it was going to basically what Siege was, but with a campaign. Yeah. Um, mm. And they released Siege instead. The campaign um, just got no, Siege like Siege, no campaign. Is no, it? it's, it's not. Just, it's all it's just. just all and it does get quite repetitive. I love the Siege, and especially Rebel Six Vegas 2. I really like loved the campaign. Yeah, I played yeah, that yeah. so much. Was that when we could change your mask and stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So it was just such a good campaign. Um, also, games that are currently. So they were released in alpha. Um, most of them are Steam games or. But Assassin's Creed Unity apparently was released when it was, wasn't finished. Was but we, yeah, but I don't think that was actually pre-alpha. It's just literally they released it when it released was, it when it wasn't. Yeah, it was so it was just, buggy. Yeah, because oh, they didn't was... they didn't test it enough, and they they were just doing shit basically. I hated <laughs> Unity. I, I love, I, I love the idea of being co-op on the heists and stuff. And by like if you got on it now, it's quite finished. But it's still just a bit nothing. Like, yeah, just it not took, to it. the problem is it took forever for them to finish it, and then by that time they'd already brought out. Uh, what was the next one? It was... E- oh, I've forgotten. Syndicate, <laughs> isn't it? Syndicate, that was it. Yeah. They'd already kind of put that into into, into production, I think. They'd already announced it. And um, You know what I would have preferred? If they just made Black Flag co-op? Can you imagine pirate ship battles? <sighs> I loved Black Flag. That's what that sea of thieves I'm hoping will be. But, like... That's that I think, I think another one, actually, you lot won't have played. It's called Guns of Icarus. It was on PC. Oh, the I remember you... Ships. You bought me that. I yeah, I bought you that. We, <laughs> I never played it. But, uh, There's loads good. of games now, though, that they just... Any game that's open world and you craft things, like The Forest, Age of Conan, Ark... Forest is uh, good, though. I mean, I know it's not a fucking Minecraft clone, basically, but... Actually, don't even start a fucking Minecraft again. <laughs> but, no, I mean, it's not at all not Minecraft. You couldn't mine the ground or anything. You could, like, cut down trees and build traps and stuff to survive from natives, but it was like a plane crash. But there's loads of those where you're abandoned somewhere and you just craft and have to survive. So biggest games that were never uh, released. I've got here Fable Legends. Oh god, yeah. Do you remember? That? So you, you Fable loved Legends Fable. never came out. No. Yeah, no. It's, it's it was a, I was, yeah, I was so a beta never, tester it, on that, and it never they just scrapped it. But it wasn't. It didn't play anything like Fable. It was like a a four v one scenario where so, four of you were heroes, and there were loads of random ones. Like there was a hero of will that only had one type of magic. It was just ice magic and stuff like that. I've also got here so ones that were never released. Prey two. So this was released oh, before Prey. The first Prey was really good. Yeah, and, they, and, and then they were gonna make Prey two where you were gonna be a space bounty hunter. Oh, How cool is that? That, that, sounds, sounds, a lot, like, that sounds a lot firefly. Like to me. if you can, <laughs> that sound very no, because they're space pirates. Right, <laughs> so if, if you look There's at the difference. footage, just pause the video. Go and look <laughs> at the footage of like Prey two, like, and it showed you like you're in like a spaceship. Yeah. And you sort of spe- go down to like a sci-fi city. Mm. The guy sort of jumped out. And then you chase down these like alien criminals and like shoot these handcuff things on them and arrest them. It was like, a really cool idea. Like, yeah. Really, really cool idea. I never. So when was Prey? Because the original was... Prey, you yeah. were like a guy. There was aliens and demons and stuff like that. It was crazy stuff. And you were like possessed by your ancestor. So you had like a because you were like a Native American. You had like a crazy spirit bow, loads of weird things like that, and it was sort of horry. And then the new Prey they've made is really different. It's not at all like that, really. So but, Prey Two. A space bounty hunter game that's open world. Picture to me now. I'll, I'll play it. So this kind of goes back to Just talking to, about. It like, all goes back to Mojang. So it's all yeah, there for basically it. yeah. No, so Minecraft games and building games. Seven Days to Die was that's an alpha. still being built now. That is. So it is. It's it alpha. It alpha even within four years of it. Re- it's released. This there are so many games like that. from 2016. Um, and I they think is it still adding, in? Yeah, yeah, it is. I'm it should, sure it is. You should not. Because they're still adding stuff it. now. Cause if, I'm sorry, but if you as a gaming company can't physically get the funds to bloody do the game, then you've got to find it's a different way of that. doing it. They're just adding stuff that isn't necessary. Like Ark, when you play it as a host with friends, there's a giant bubble that keeps you all together. And, but instead of fixing that and making the game more polished and play nicer, they've added unicorns and stuff like that. I don't care about that. Well, no, no, I just design this fucking game. Isn't yeah, no, there's DLCs with dragons and stuff and elementals. It's crazy. Yeah. It's, it's not at all Ark anymore. There's <laughs> no dinosaurs. They fixed, cause there was, that was very, Ark, when it first came out, was very like glitchy and very... Yeah, it still played all right, but there's just too many uh, things that just made it not would, a fun experience. I would like, prefer it needs to be the game more. to play really, really well. Yeah, and, and then start adding in all yeah. the unicorns and rubbish, right? Don't, 
don't jump. And don't we've added in like fucking DLC. Loads of different species of like ancient crocodile, which is really cool and all. Don't run before you can walk. Yeah, I don't exactly. need a Sarko Sutras and the other one at the same time. I just need one of them and I need to make the game play nicely. Okay. <laughs> I want to throw this spear and I want it to hit the target instead of flying up into the air. Yeah, I remember playing Seven Days to Die. I want to, be able to play with my friends, but go off wherever we want. Stuff Seven like Days to Die first came out on the Xbox, and wow, was that game not playable? Yeah, when you guys asked me to play that recently, I was like, wait, okay, I got this game when it first came out on Xbox, and it was awful. You yeah, are having a laugh. That Brilliant it's concept, and actually yeah. a very good game, but, but now just it not plays finished. alright. It's good fun. It's, but it's bearable. They need to fix the online a bit. It's a bit yeah, it's still very laggy. And I still think very... it, it, these sort of games, they, 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 they honestly just reach too high, and it's like, oh, we don't know how to implement this. We'll try and do it and leave it late for later on where a fucking bug will happen where we'll have to fix it. I remember the forest was really big. Like, it first came out and loads of people were like, oh, yeah, it looks beautiful. And it looked beautiful, but there were lots of broken problems. Ooh. And they just made so much money that, honestly, they could have just stopped making it. Yeah. The forest. Like, the forest you go, is, I bought the have forest. Have a broken it was game. I, mean, I, it's I cool, saw that on Steam. I, I was you felt like weird but... mutants when you crash on a ship. But, I mean, like it, but there's still a glitch now. Well, yeah, there's mutants and there's like cannibal tribal people, and you can make effigies. Yeah, yeah and stuff. I definitely saw that. Instantly. I was but there's fire. still a massive problem with it, where like sharks will swim onto land. All right, oh, sharks there? stay in the water. <laughs> well, to be honest, I think every game now invites you to a beta. I know you do most of them, Nathan. You always. Oh yeah, if there's a beta going, I, I'll take you that. Always. It's free. I just I'll take a beta, and then free. you get stuff usually Which as well. For I suppose I understand because kind of, it's just a cheap way of getting tested. Yeah, like really. I played the Destiny beta, and then was like, oh, I won't buy it, and then like, I got it as a graduation present. So I was like, oh, all right. But then like and the then beta was awful. Days later. No, that was that's the, the I'm talking about Destiny two. Oh right. Like uh, Destiny two is great, but the beta did not give it justice. That was one problem. The beta on Fable Legends, they were. Going the wrong way with what people they were like, oh, people just want it more co-op. No, we love the story. Just make it four-player co-op. Two players thing, actually fine. They were good as it was. It mm. is possible to make a game that plays really well, very simple, and we're playing it right now. Ruby Grim Eclipse. So this was <laughs> Rooster's first video game. They haven't made, well, they, they're in and they're going to make another one, but I I never remember it being crap to play. I always remember when no, I first I've always, it. No, I've always loved playing I've always loved the gameplay. It's very simple. It's very... You know what it reminds me well of? Done. Like an old-fashioned Xbox hack and slash. It feels yeah, yeah, a very yeah. Dynasty Warriors esque Yeah, you could just go on it and just sort of have a little... But laugh. it works. And it's full play That's the thing. It works. It's not... It doesn't lag out. It doesn't glitch. You don't throw something it never returns. And it looks you nice. Don't. Yeah, and it, it's, <laughs> it's quite pretty, yeah. Um, so I think that's a... Yeah, and they've got the voice actors and stuff, and if you watch the like the anime sort of thing, it's good to cry. And well, don't call it anime. People might get annoyed of you. Oh, <laughs> so, yeah, I am... <laughs> it's an animation. Good so boy. I... Good boy, because I'll get mad. No, I'm joking. So I am agreeing with Josh in the fact that I would prefer a game to be finished rather than adding crap. That yeah. Probably won't ever work, to be honest, if you... I mean, yeah, I'll, fix a game, then start giving us DLCs and add-ons. I mean, and stuff. I'll, I'll admit that if if you just if you can't do a game, then you don't do it. Then okay, we won't have, for instance, Seven Days to Die and all this life. If they if they're don't not allowed to put them on Alpha, I think Don't Starve was like that. Yeah, yeah Don't yeah, Starve. Yeah, Don't Starve's really good though. I'll admit that. Okay, so um, this has been episode one of our podcast. Um, it's going to be a monthly show, and from that we've got yeah, only make your DLCs a reasonable price. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we've we've just ranted really. We haven't really come to any conclusions, but that. I mean, well, that's what it's about, though, isn't it? You sort of whenever we argue, do remember. remasters if they're cheap, but also get your own games out. All right, stop trying to sell us the same rubbish over and over again. <laughs> and uh, finally, what was our just topic now? What's our sort of finalising on that? Um, I'm going to say finish games before. Yeah, before you be more them. and bloody finish a game. Yeah. yeah. Even Al- if you give it to us as an alpha, I'm okay with beta. Don't add the... stuff. Just work on finishing what's in there. I'm yeah. okay with the beta as long as it's free to play. Um, I don't like it when they charge you just to play the beta and then you are you are just so. in theory a glorified fucking bug tester at that point, though, aren't you? That's the yeah. thing that you're not paid. getting paid for it. Exactly, <laughs> you're paying to be a bug tester. <laughs> yeah, so no, you're paying to free, be. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. okay with it if it's not. Then I, you know, finish the game, then release it, and then yeah, we'll buy it, possibly, or play the demo and, like, and not like the game, but yeah. yeah. So yeah, actually, this... I I also miss going. Sorry, quickly. <laughs> I, I miss the fact that in on PlayStation Two era, you used to get demo discs. I miss demo discs. Oh, I love. To be honest, <laughs> so this is obviously is this before your time, Nathan? Doing, no. doing, doing a bit of a yeah. shout out. I'm do... one year younger. <laughs> <laughs> I I really like the um, YouTube channel Funhouse. They do a 
<laughs> they do a uh, show where they do demo discs and they play demo discs and just play all the games that you used to play as kids when you used to get them in magazines. Yeah, it was just a magazine, wasn't it? And then they'd give you like ten demos. <laughs> and it is a good. I brought for so many games I've never to heard of, and then saw it in a demo, di- like played it in a demo disc. And like, oh yeah, it's good. That'd yeah, really so fun, like, like uh, Hurdy Gurdy. I don't know if you ever played it. Did Fucking... you guys play Eye Ninja? Yes, God, I had that oh. game. Yeah, that one. I played oh. that on a demo disc. I've never heard of it. Before. If someone has Eye Ninja, that was like Ninja to Gaiden. To us. <laughs> yeah, that was Ninja Gaiden, but just fucking Eye Ninja was cartoony. But like, you could cut people in half and stuff. It was all fun. Could pick up coins and cut people in half. Whatever you need. Crazy cool rage modes and stuff like that in it. Like all this sick, yeah. Oh, missed that. Well, maybe that might be a future show. But although we're stuff. probably ripping off some people doing that, but uh, if we ever want to, one day I really want day. to finish Ninja Gaiden One. I think I never that finished was Ninja Gaiden One. Such a hard. I, game. I finished Ninja Gaiden Two and Three <laughs> and the Razor's Edge. Though they did, I don't know whether that was actually three. They were the same one. So anyway. if you bought some paid DLC, you might be able to win. Don't. That's all right. I'll do. Okay. It. I'll do. <laughs> so that's episode one. Uh, we'll see you. In a month's time, this is going to be a monthly episode, as I said before. So, yeah. Um, I didn't know that, so you know that. Now I know that. that. If, you didn't know if it, it, if it goes know. well, it might be bi weekly, but whatever. And it might be pay to win, you got to buy it. <laughs> 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 All right, bye, guys. Bye. Bye.